about that time. As of this recording, it's Saturday. A lot of anime are ending. A lot have already ended. But basically, this is going to be what I'm going to be watching for summer of 2021 anime. So spring season of anime is pretty much over and we got a list right here on any chart, which I love to use just to keep track of my anime and all that stuff. So you guys should definitely check it out if you want to, you know, be up to date with all the new anime and stuff. I think it's a really good website, any chart, you know, any list, all that good stuff. So basically, I'm just going to go through. I have this sorted by the start date. And we're just going to go through, look at some of these, or look at all of them, really. Read the summaries. I'm going to try not to read the summaries completely because they sound interesting. I kind of want to be a little surprised. I don't want the whole plot to be given away because some of these summaries do give away a lot. So I'm just going to go through these. There's a few in here that I know that are coming out. There are a few that I as you see on the screen right now that I'm definitely going to watch. And so, yeah. You guys want to pull it up with me or just throw this on in the background while you're doing something else and yeah feel free but uh i'm just gonna get right into it oh and just a just a quick note if i say i'm gonna check something out then that doesn't necessarily mean i'm gonna post a reaction to it more likely than not a lot of these i won't be posting a reaction to the first episode just because i got i kind of have to feel it out and I don't want to post like a reaction to like an episode one that I'm not interested in ultimately. So I usually give everything the three episode rule. So if, after three episodes, I don't like it, then I'll drop it. But if I drop something after like an episode one, then I don't really count it as a drop. But you know, that is for the future. Okay, Higurashi. Okay, I did not know that. I knew the Higurashi sequel was coming, but I didn't know it was coming this soon. So if you guys didn't know, I watched uh, the last season of Higurashi that came out, When They Cry, when it was coming out. I didn't really like the first half of it, but the second half really just made me fall in love with it. So I am definitely going to watch this. I probably will do videos on it too. It's very interesting. I was never someone who watched the old Higurashi anime, so that last season was the first time I ever watched anything related to Higurashi. There's a chance I might even go back and watch the old stuff though. So yeah, definitely gonna be watching Higurashi. So look out for that. Peach Boy Riverside. Okay, by Asahi Production. Saltherin Ald... I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Princess of the Kingdom of Alderake. Okay. Dreams of Traveling the World. Okay, so we got Adventure. Dangerous Dream. And where monsters roam the countryside as they please. You got monsters. You got humans. She means a traveler. Or he's a demon slayer okay interesting this looks so whenever i see like adventure anime with like a bunch of characters on the cover they're just never really that good so i'll probably watch the first episode but i don't have a lot of hopes for this but yeah let's keep going all right scarlet nexus scarlet nexus action supernatural Solar calendar year 2020. Okay, so it's literally the last year. Grotesque organisms called the others. Oh, is this like... Is this like one of those anime where they got to fight like an alien race? And yeah, I've seen so many of these. I'm probably going to skip this, guys. Like, I'm not even going to lie. This doesn't look that interesting to me. But if it does end up being interesting, let me know. Okutachi no Remake. Okay, Hashiba Kyoya, 20 year old game developer. Oh, okay, so his company's going bankrupt. Okay, and he's losing his job. He returns to his hometown, looking at the creator. He finds himself regretting his life decisions, blah, blah, blah. But when he opens his eyes, he finds he has traveled 10 years back. This story about a failed person who has given him a second opportunity to follow his dreams. Okay, yeah. Studio, oh, studio feel, bro. And it's like a comedy yo this might be it this might be a i feel like this might be like a dark horse of the season of next season i just have that feeling yeah uh i'll definitely watch this for sure kanajo mo kanajo noya naoya mukai has loved saki saki since grade school okay but one day okay oh so this guy has a love triangle he decides to date multiple people at once Comedy romance. Okay, I'm, I'm glad there's a comedy tag on it because if it was just a romance, I feel like it would just turn into like a harem. So this might actually be interesting. I'll check out the first episode. I don't really have any high hopes. It might just be like kind of a episodic type anime. So uh, we'll see, but I'll check out the first episode. Okay, 
Mahoka Kokyo no Yutsutsu. Okay, I don't know what this is. Spin off of something that I've never seen, so skip. Otome Game. Okay, I didn't watch the first season, so skip. Vanitas no Karte. Okay, this looks like some noblest type thing. Rumors revolving around the book of Vanitas, a clockwork grimoire of dubious reputation. Draw Noah, and I don't know. How to... Okay, a young vampire. Vampire, wow. Okay. In search of a friend's salvation to Paris. What awaits him in the city of flowers, however, is not long hours treading the pavement or rifling through dusty little spots at court. In the... Okay, so here's the thing about. Okay, it's Studio Bones. Okay, so the thing is, it's Studio Bones, so I'm inclined to watch it, but. If you guys don't know, Bones is the one that is like My Hero Academia, and they've done also a lot of other really good anime. But the thing with vampire anime is that there aren't really that many good ones. And the really good ones I haven't actually watched yet, like Helsing, and uh, I think there's a few others. But there's a lot of vampire anime that I've watched that's just not that good, so I don't know. I'll watch the first episode, but I'm not holding my breath for this one. All right, next one. Genjutsu Shugi Yusha no Okoku Saikenki. What is this? Summon to Fantasy World. All right, so we're already we're already getting our isekai. All right, here's our isekai for the next season. Oh, okay. So so this is like isekai, but okay, this guy right here looks like um, the dude from Slime, the one of his subordinates. I forgot his name, but um, yeah. So this is an isekai where he's seemingly trying to rebuild a kingdom. Okay, and this guy looks like hold on, this guy looks like from. You guys ever see that fantasy, or I think it's Isekai, kind of, Utaware Rumano? This is, looks like the main character from there, so. Very interesting. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm back. Uh, so this looks like an interesting Isekai where he's kind of taking the, the route of kind of rebuilding a kingdom instead of just fighting like a demon king or something. So, yeah, non-traditional and very human root administrative reform. This might be interesting. This is something that probably will make you think a lot. So I will definitely check out the first episode. Getter Robo Arc. What? This looks like a kid's action mecha. Yeah, I'm probably gonna skip this. This just doesn't look interesting. Idolish 7. Okay, never watched any of that, so skip. Kageki Shoujo. Okay. The Koka Kageki Musical Drama Academy. Okay, I'm probably not gonna watch this musical drama, so I'm gonna skip that. Ore Tsushima. Okay, this looks like some weird stuff, so I'm gonna skip that. Remain. What is this? Is this sports? Yeah. Mappa. Oh shit. Okay, Mappa. First Mappa anime we've seen today on this list. What sport is this? Is it like a water, water sport? What is this water? Is this water polo? It is water polo. Okay, the anime story stands on Minato, a boy who stops was fourth Okage. Okay, a little backstory here. A boy who stopped playing water polo due to a certain incident in the winter of his third middle school year. He picks the sport up again. Okay, so it's a water polo anime. Never seen. I don't. I'm, I don't think there's ever been a uh, water polo anime. So this is the first. But uh, yeah, it's a map. I have to watch the first episode. But I don't know if I'm gonna actually watch watch it. So we'll see. Shinigami Bochan to Kurome. Okay, this art style kind of looks like Fire Force. I don't know why. In a large mansion loves a boy, an aristocrat who's cursed with the wish to let everything he touches die. Okay, so this guy is like kind of like a King Midas gold touch. So this is actually a very interesting premise, and it's a comedy. So they could do a lot with this premise as far as jokes and stuff. So I'll definitely watch this first episode. Interesting. Okay, so this guy really can't touch anyone and they'll just die? What the hell? Okay. Uh, Engi. Studio Engi, Tante wa mo shindeiru, the story follows Kimihiko Kimizuka, a young man who four years ago became the assistant of a mysterious detective, okay. Okay, so there's a detective who basically is retired and tries to go to a regular life, I guess he's a fucking high school detective, it's weird. Um, this could be interesting, it also sounds like it could be very episodic, so I'm probably gonna skip it, I don't think I'm gonna watch the first episode. Seiri Gensoki, it's very uh old style anime or old style old anime art style that we've got going on here meet Rio, a callous orphan boy living in the slums at only seven years old he realized he's actually the reincarnation of a japanese university student with a tragic past while still reeling from Rio, comes in that position okay interesting uh i'm not sure about this premise it sounds very old style i wonder if this is like a adaptation of something old 
source light novel okay so i guess that's why mm, i don't know it seems interesting but i don't know man like like i try to keep the amount of anime i watch like in a season to around like 10 or less it was because there was a season where i was just watching like 19 20 anime and it was just way too much for me uh so i'll probably skip this we'll see we'll see maybe it'll be good okay slime slime season two part two i have been waiting for this and i know i didn't react to season two part one but you'll definitely be getting a reaction dude because the second half or the last like handful of episodes of the season two part one were just insane it was just a side of this show that you've never really seen before and so if they can keep it up then this is gonna be a really good part two so definitely expect some videos on that okay uramichi onisan the story centers on 31 year old man oh okay so this could be interesting so from the prep from the summary i'm basically getting that this guy has like two personalities and i can relate to this a lot just for the fact that you know not not the the person you are in a certain situation isn't necessarily how you're going to be like in a different situation like versus in a crowd or versus when you're alone and so this is definitely showing that you know people have different sides to them in different situations and i am actually interested in this i'm definitely gonna watch the first episode so yeah cheat kusushi no slow life isekai ni tsukuro drugstore okay Corporate drone. She's okay. Another isekai. Here we go. Taking advantage of the, making a tidy profit enough to open his own drugstore and I'll Okay, so I've seen this. I've seen this uh, premise. I feel like there was an anime that came out either last season or or maybe the season before that, where there's a similar thing where someone was transported to an isekai to a to a fantasy world and they opened up some shop and they just like episodic and it's just epi every each episode is just like a different encounter with different people. So. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably skip it though. Suki ga Michibiku Isekai Docho. Docho. Okay, Makoto Misumi was just an ordinary high school student. Let me scroll down a bit. When he, due to certain circumstances, parents face and gets summoned. Okay, another Isekai. Okay, goddess. And so from August. And strips his hero title? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This is, uh, this is giving me a lot of Shield Hero vibes. I'm definitely watching this yeah dude dude shield hero was really good any uh anything that looks or sounds like it or anything that's kind of like it i will definitely watch so yeah definitely watching that okay suki pro the animation 2 don't know what that is never watched it skip kobayashi okay i never watched dragon maid so i'm gonna have to skip this for now make your black company what is this kinji had it made a swank apartment a real estate empire enough cash laundry run after freak magically he washed up another another isekai but enslaved to a crooked corporation in a fantastical land where money is everything there's only one way to further earthling to get ahead make your fortune by any means necessary dragons goblins and the occasional dubious potion won't stop kinji's quest for the world's biggest bank account the black company is open for business okay silverlink silverlink does a lot of good anime too but i feel like this is going to be also episodic so i'm just going to keep that in mind i'll definitely watch the first episode because the premise does seem a little interesting uh, like a guy trying to like con people maybe or just trying to make as much money in this isekai world so i'll definitely watch it shiroi suna no aquatope the anime takes place as gama gama aquarium in an aquarium okay so we have a whole anime taking place in an aquarium is an ace who works there and she knows about the secret of the aquarium sometimes you can see mysterious things one day kukuru mitsufuka standing in front of a lot of long hair and she fuka has given up on you become an idol idol okay i don't know this sounds kind of bland i'm not gonna lie i thought it was, it was the, the first half kind of interested me but i don't know how i feel about it uh but i'm probably gonna skip this okay 100 man so i started this anime when it came out i watched like an episode or two and it i watched a few actually and it, it just i just didn't like it It was really bland so i'm skipping this obviously decide what is this story says shibuya so he watched his uh, brother die. Now he's in high school and kickboxing. Okay, so it's it's not a kickboxing anime, but there's there's some some fantasy involved. He gets bitten by something, so uh, it could be interesting. 
yeah so i don't know i'll probably i'll probably skip it though i mean i'll watch the first episode why not right it could be interesting yeah i'll watch the first episode long live superstar this just just off the cover itself this set this looks like something i definitely would not watch music slice of life okay okay i'm probably not gonna watch this i'm sorry guys nope skip diate five what is this it's just usually more akira shinoyagi a high school student who loves games and konpeto japanese sweets has suddenly been dragged into a battlefield by a mysterious girl who calls herself Mion. The participants are told that they are erased from the family register, involved in an experiment, and gain certain powers. Akira is determined to win the game with his newfound powers and destroy the organization armed with the power to... Okay, so this could be actually interesting. This looks like a death game, and uh, I haven't watched a death game anime in a while, man. I mean, Mira Nikki is the one that people look at as like the holy girl of death game anime, but there are a lot of good ones. There are a lot of bad ones as well. And so this might be interesting. I'll give it a watch for sure. And uh, yeah, we move on from there. Megami Ryo no Ryo Bokun. Nagumi Koshi is a 12 year old boy who was abandoned by his broke father. Oh no. Oh dude, the etchy tag. Okay. So I don't even, there's no point in reading the summary. We know what we're getting out of an etchy. Um, so uh, yeah. It's probably gonna be one that I watch, you know, on the side. Okay, Nighthead 2041. Story follows Kiri, uh, Kirihara brothers, who from a young age were incarcerated in a secure scientific facility due to the supernatural powers having escaped after the barrier that was preventing them malfunctions. The story follows Kukuru who is trying to chase. Okay, this sounds kind of lame. And wait, wait, is this CGI? Oh no, bro. I can't watch this. Nah, dude. This is gonna be trash. Wait, I just gotta see the PV. This looks like X Arm or the Berserk anime. I gotta see the PV real quick, real quick. Oh, dude. This. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. That's that's a easy skip. Oh, I just ruined my jazz. Okay, next. Sunny Boy. Madhouse. Okay, Madhouse. Madhouse got some anime. I haven't seen a Madhouse anime in a while. A lot of people don't remember, but Madhouse used to be the anime studio. Before MAPPA, before Bones, back when Euphorbo was making Fate Stay Night and all that. Madhouse was the one that reigned supreme, you know, with Hunter Hunter and Overlord and a lot of other anime, so... Sunny Boy is a sci-fi survival series with a stacked 36 student cast of characters. What? 36 characters? Uprooted from the middle school live, these students end up in another dimension have to fight. So is this another? The first episode received an advanced release on YouTube? Oh wait, so this is out already? So is this, is this out? Can I watch this? I'm gonna look into this. This looks interesting. And if they're able to characterize 36 people, that will be an achievement in and of itself. So yeah, definitely watching that. Heion Sedai no Ida Tentachi. Gods appeared when humanity was on the verge of destruction due to the work of demons. Deities called Ita then fought and sealed away demons. Okay, so we got demons, but now the demons are arriving in the battle between gods. Okay, um, if anything, I'll watch it for the art style because it's really good and it's MAPPA, so I kind of have to watch the first episode. MAPPA is like really good, so yeah, I'll watch the first episode, but it just seems the premise seems very uh, simple at first glance so i'm not expecting too much but hey it could be something completely different okay server link is this fucking nagatoro what the hell okay the great jahi the dark realm second in command blah 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 blah, blah, blah. oh so this is like a this is like a reverse isekai where the monster demon king gets transferred into the real world kind of like um the uh, the devil is a part-timer so this is this is that right I probably won't watch it. It seems it seems just it just seems oh it's etchy too. Okay, so this is all right. Well, watching that on the side, and what we got last Magia Records second season. Never watched first one, so that's a skip. Wow, is that it? That's all we got. I might have actually like watched like a lot that I said I might watch. So okay, let's go to the TV shorts real quick. Oh, only two. Okay, Salt Lily and. Yami Shibai, holy shit, they're still pumping out seasons of this. Oh my god. Okay. Leftovers. Of course, we got My Hero Academia season five, Studio Bones. And if you guys know, if you guys have read the manga, you know that's gonna get into some good stuff. 
they are rearranging a little bit of the arcs but it is still gonna be good so be on the lookout for that show shaman king so here's the thing i started this show i watched the first two episodes and i know it's an ad adaptation of an older source an older shaman king basically like a re uh, reanimation a, a new version of shaman king and I, I understand it's an OG and a lot of newer anime take a lot from Shaman King. But I just, it's just, it's, because it's old, it has so many uh, classic anime shown in tropes that I just, it's just too bland for me. And I kind of don't like the halfway chibi style art and character design. So I, I just kind of dropped it after a few episodes. It wasn't for me, but hey, I still respect it. And I still respect what it probably did for a lot of anime. So, Blue Reflection Ray. I don't know what this is. It looks weird. I'm gonna skip. Eden Zero. Okay. So, my history with Fairy Tale is a rocky one. I really, really liked Fairy Tale the first season. But when they changed the art style and when they changed, you know, everything after the Grand Magic games. Because Grand Magic Games itself was like the downfall of Fairy Tale, but after that, it just wasn't the same, man. It really wasn't. Fairy Tale had the potential to be, you know, one of the top three. It never really cracked that surface, but it really could have. There was a lot of potential there, and so Eden Zero could be something else. But literally, I see Happy. I see the main characters literally just a fusion of Natsu and Gray. That one character is literally just Lucy. That other one's literally just Erza and Loxus. And so, I don't know, uh, I'll, uh, I never watched it when it was coming out, so I probably won't watch it, but I hear it's, it's okay, I don't really care too much about it, but this next one that is a leftover, I really do enjoy, Tier Eternity, if you guys have not been watching Tier Eternity, you are missing out, this show is really good, and we're blessed to have a whole second half of it for the summer season, uh, 20 episodes so we're only on episode 11 and uh, yeah there's not much more to say man you just gotta watch it and you'll know why people love it so much so yeah that's all I gotta say about that Mari Mashtakun okay so I never I never watched that so I'm gonna skip that movies what movies we got I'm gonna quickly go through this okay so I don't know any of these movies oh there's a new uh whoa what the hell just happened there there's a new uh, Seven Deadly Sins movie coming out interesting well i mean they really screwed up the anime and uh studio dean just man studio dean really sold the bag on this one uh but i'll, I'll watch the movie for content sake and it's a new story so why not okay i don't know any of these movies oh yeah the my hero movie is gonna be coming out oh there's a fade grand order movie yo i'm definitely gonna watch that because i really i really like the fate grand order anime but obviously I didn't really understand too much of what was going on because apparently it was like the last arc of the video game and obviously I never really played the video game or knew any about it knew anything about the previous journeys and arcs that they took prior to that one but assuming this is the one about Solomon so this could be interesting Solomon huh okay or this is Magi <laughs> okay so I'll watch that for sure and uh okay that's about it a little fake Khalid movie that could be cool for people who like that an OVA, Isekai Mao, I dropped that. Yojo Senki, yeah, I watched that, uh, I watched that, it was good. It was a very good uh, special. That is also on my channel if you guys wanna check out my reaction to that. Hopefully we're getting some Saga of Tanya the Evil pretty soon. Okay, one direct priority. Two days, guys. The finale, the actual finale of the season that we never got. I am hyped for this. This is gonna be good. Wonder Egg Party, Tokubetsu Hen. Special episode concluding the story of Wonder Egg Party. So in two days, we'll get to see what is gonna happen to our people. How are they gonna fight this enemy that we've seen in the ending of the show? I'm hyped for it. It's a really good show. Wonder Egg Party is very underrated. You just have to pay attention. You have to understand that the structure of the show is not as linear as you might think and you just have to accept it and go with it but it's really good such a good show can't wait okay that's about it though what is this mahalskai no yome was this a movie for this three episodes it's like a three episode special 
Oh, I never thought I'd be getting an Ancient Magus' Bride special. I really like that show. Yeah, I'll watch this for sure. Okay, guys, so that is it for summer 2021 of anime. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was great just going through and seeing what anime are going to be coming out because it's kind of hard to just watch every single episode without knowing a little bit of it, a little bit of the summary, a little bit what about what the anime is about. And so, yeah, let me know what anime you guys are going to be watching down below in the comments. Let me know if any of the ones that I said I probably won't be watching end up being good. There are a lot that I'm hyped for, and I think summer 2021 of anime is going to be really good. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to stand up to spring season because we had a lot of good anime. You know, we had 86, we had Tokyo Avengers. Well, Tokyo Avengers is going to be continuing, but... We also had, you know, Nagatoro. We had a lot. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. Spring's over, summer's coming, and with that, a lot of anime as well. So hope you guys are ready for that. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.